got asked to do something to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Red Shed Labour Club in Wakefield, which my friend Sandra, who were, were around when Red Shed started, were talking about the, the optimism, the political optimism of the 60s when it began. That's the one thing that I feel like I've grown up in a time which there hasn't been that optimism that you can change the world for the but, but you know, we can work together to make the world better. I'm not saying individuals don't try to do that, and you know, I respect them for doing so, but, but it felt like that people have given in as a sense of defeat. I've always felt like I've grown up in an age where people have just told me there's nothing you can do. That's the world I feel like I've grown up in. Up in a really big, you know, initially quite poor family. I went to college. I began making artwork in two thousand, uh, and um, within kind of a year of like the events such as nine eleven, uh, and just kind of a general coming of age, I, I swiftly started to lose that uh, that that optimism which I had in the nineties, and I started to kind of become really concerned about the world. and uh, And from that point onwards, my artwork became really, really important to me. I was quite a shy person with a lot lacking self-esteem. Uh, so getting on in the world by other means, I always, I always found very, very hard. I work five days a week and I just about find enough time to still do what I want to do, basically. Fighting for crumbs, art in the shadow of neoliberal Britain, is the stories of artists who are striving for nothing but raw artistic expression at a time when we're all being forced to strive for crumbs, where wages are low and the market dictates creativity. It's not so much stories of poverty-stricken artists. It's about artists working within the crumbling remains of Britain's post-settlement optimism. Under the keep calm and carry on mantra of Tory rule, more and more artists are feeling pressured to head into more craft-based activities. This is not a critique of the crafts itself, but how can art say when it's trying so hard to sell? What value does the truth of artistic expression have in such times? Have we been reduced to fighting for crumbs? <laughs>